Do you identify with this? Do you want your films to put the viewer into a place where they have to do some of the work to make that experience happen? Yeah, well, the way I, uh, I, I try to make the films, <coughs> excuse me, is to give the viewer enough information so they can feel that they're present. Mm -hmm. And yet at the same time, uh, make up their own minds what it is they're seeing and hearing. Uh, I don't like uh, films that are didactic or condescend toward the viewer. The only safe assumption for me is that the viewer of the film is as smart or as dumb as I am. When people talk about documentary filmmaking, they talk about the history of documentary filmmaking. They list generally five masters, and it's you, Michael Moore, Ken Burns, Maisels. Do you feel any kinship to those filmmakers? Uh, no, mm -hmm. not especially, because I think we each work in our own way. Mm -hmm. Do you think uh, the term documentary is reductive in, in regards well, to Well, I films? think I make movies. Yes. I mean, sometimes, at least years ago, the word documentary uh, carried the flavor of a, you know, a prescription that you, you should watch it because it was good for you. It would improve you in some way or another. And I think I make dramatic narrative movies that can be as funny or as sad or as tragic uh, as uh, uh, so-called normal, regular fiction films. When you talk about Titty Cup Follies, you know, Clearly your manifesto, your aesthetic manifesto, if you, if you have one, is sort of laid out initially in Titty Cup Follies. We see where, how you're working as a filmmaker, as an, I know you don't like the term observational necessarily, but how you're taking a certain amount of distance more so than a lot of other filmmakers. You're not condescending in the form. Did that come from a reaction to other films at that time, or was that something that you figured out while editing, well, how you wanted to see the Yeah, film? I think it's more a reflection of, of my interests. Uh, because I, I think my movies are more novelistic than they are journalistic. And, and I'm interested in complexity and ambiguity. Even a film like Titty Cut Follies isn't, uh, from my point of view, a, a simple expose film. I don't think so. Do I, I don't like simple expose films. I like to be able to make films that, that in some way this suggest the, the, compl the enormous complexity uh, of the subject matter. Do you find the aesthetic choices that you make with your films to be uh, political? Someone, some, one, some could say they're political simply by not conforming to the Hollywood standards or the standard, standard model of a narrative feature film. That in itself is a political act. Yeah, well, I, I don't really thinking, think of them as political because they're not trying to sell any ideology or agenda. Uh, you know, and my political m models are Grocho, Harpo, and Chico. Are you a big uh, documentary watcher yourself? Do you no, watch? I, I don't. I'm not a big movie watcher. I don't have time. I work a lot. Right. And, and when I'm not working, I you know, like to you know go skiing or read a book or something. Were you a film buff before you started yeah, making films? Yeah, I was though? a big film buff. Yeah. yeah. And did you expect that when you started making films, you'd make the films that you'd be drawn to make the films that you made, or did you no. think you'd be drawn to make Duck Soup? Well, I, in many ways, I think I make Duck Soup. 